Would you please welcome Jordan Marutis? All right. Uh, it's always great to be here in Spectre Sonic land. It's a, a land of sonic bliss, basically. A lot of people think of, you know, Omnisphere and, and Trillion is creating kind of mellow sounds and pads and basses. And I think of it as the ultimate, you know, sonic world. And one of the sounds that I made to kind of like show off this whole world is a really, really cool rockin' sound. And I think I'll start with that today. Um, and I'll show you what's going on as well. As Eric mentioned, the whole idea here is to combine different elements of like the Trillion library with Omnisphere. And uh, I put together some what we call multi-patches, and they consist of different parts. So um, here's a bass sound that, uh, all by itself, that sounds like this. <laughs> So that's all done, right, with this program, all the effects, everything. I just took some of the distortions that are in there and hit them hard and made them sound right. And what's funny, you know, you, you think of distortion as noise. So, I mean, you know, so we're just crafting our noise to be very particular. So this is the uh, guitar sound that I made uh, with Omnisphere. <laughs> Of course, what I like is, you know, I, uh, I respect the guitar guys so much, and I work with one of the best in the business, and that's awesome. But I, you know, I think of my, my own sonic world, and okay, well, that's cool. We can do this. I think if you tune the guitar that low, it would melt. <laughs> you know, he probably will one of these days. You guys, you guitar guys, all like to tune as low as possible. I think it's very cool. So if I mix the uh, if I mix the bass that I made in with that guitar, and if I play really low, let's see what happens. That's oh, I like that. Now we're, now we're in this freaking all vibe out a little bit together. That's what I need right now. There's a really really nice. Uh, Chapman stick within Trillion, and uh, it sounds really beautiful. slow stuff and the Chapman stick just sounds really really um, you know melodic and then if I play fast it'll respond and you get different you know like different articulations so I can be show you the upright bass sound, one of the upright bass sounds in Trillion. And to do that, I can also point out this really, really cool feature that uh, the Zen Riffer has, which is that, I don't know, some of you can see it and maybe some of you cannot, but this instrument can be played as kind of like a, like a guitar thing where I strap it on, or I can have it so that it just stands up, kind of like an upright bass. So let me apologize to any of you who are actually upright bass players, because I'm going to be in that kind of like domain here for a second and, uh, and kind of like vibing out in that way. So um, I guess, I think it's the closest that a keyboard player can get to, because you get the vibe of this instrument standing like this looking all pretty, and you got the really amazing sound.
it gets you in the spirit, you know? This is cool. When Charles first showed this to me, I wasn't quite, I don't know. He, uh, he, I think he had this vision a long time ago. I didn't quite get it, but now standing here, you know. I feel it. I'm feeling the love. It's all good. So this one is interesting because you can see when I press like, you can see the assignments actually. When I press the low A, it's talking to two sounds. When I press the B flat, it's talking to those two. This one. So you can see what's going on. So I press this one and I hit a key. 